Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've been working here in my office and I was dreaming all last night when I couldn't go to sleep. I think I was up to like 3 a.m. and then I had a kid come in my room probably between 3.30 and 4 o'clock and then again at like 5 o'clock. And then I think Jason got up at 6.30 because he started pulling his nose and just decided to get up and go to work. And then I heard my other kids get up at 7 to go to high school and middle school. And so I basically got like no sleep. <laughs> so I had plans to like go to the Target dollar spot and look at the Valentine stuff. But it is cold and rainy and gross outside. The wind is howling. I'm done editing videos for now. And... I had the thought as I was laying in bed last night that I needed to redo the shelves here in my craft room. I don't know if I'm like going minimal style or like minimal color. I, I'll show you um, in my living room out here what it looks like after Christmas has been taken down. Um, but I just kind of, I don't mind that color in here. I clearly love to have the teal and the yellows and the salmon colors and whatnot. But, um, this one is actually fairly decent. Let me just kind of take you around really quick and show you why I kind of feel like it's a little cluttered and I need to kind of take care of it. So this shelf up here isn't like that bad. It's been organized plenty of times. The books are in order. I've got a lot of decorations up there. That yellow sign belongs in my front entryway and I think I'm ready to put that back. It usually leaves the entryway around the 4th of July and then doesn't go back up until the new year. But this shelf over here is kind of a cluttered mess. But then I've got all of this stuff here and this stuff down along here. I kind of use this shelf as a staging spot for excess. So like when I decorate for the holidays, I tend to take stuff like off shelves and cupboards and table tops and I put it up here. And then I kind of grab from here when I'm redoing an area as well. But I also have stuff like down here that has kind of piled up and kind of, you know, whatnot. I'm really zoomed in. Let's go back out. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Sorry, I'm holding my face because I don't know what all this is and I'm embarrassed. But there's no point in putting makeup on today. There just isn't. I'm going to take everything down that's always like my tactic. I always eliminate all the clutter before I like either decorate or organize. I always eliminate everything first and then I'm really gonna make a decision on what I truly wanna keep and maybe I'll add some stuff out to the shelves out there. I'll kind of take you out there and show you. But I also think I'm kind of going through a stage shifting in decoration style where I think I might get rid of some of this stuff offer it up to my friends or neighbors and see if they want it. That's kind of where I'm at, but I needed to have a day like today that I can dedicate the time to not only clean it up, but really put some thought into what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. And January is the perfect time for that. So out here in my living room, you can just see that there's a lot of shelves that are kind of a little bit bare or not really, you know, they're just not like stellar <laughs> on how I've decorated it just because I kind of put things back after Christmas because I wanted it back on, on a shelf. Anyway, I just need to kind of redo this a little bit. I'm gonna add some pops of that teal color that I like to get color back in here. It's all white and brown and black. And I don't mind that, but I would like to have some pops of color. And I'm still debating, what do you guys think? This basket here, I like it in the corner, but it kind of turns into a toy bin for my kids where they put their iPads there last minute. And then I don't know what to do with this area. I still have Christmas cards in that bucket right there. I don't know, and this is that tray that I made that our gingerbread houses were on. And I just turned it backward and kind of used it as a filler piece right here. So that's kind of my thought process to what I want to do today. So I don't know. Oh, I guess what else you guys? I don't know if you're like me and are weird. <laughs> But I realized I had like 10 pages left in my current notebook that I am using. I always write my lists in my notebooks. You guys know I use these notebooks up here from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. These ones are all unused ones right here. And then all of the ones in the basket right there are all the ones that I've already used and I like to keep them. But I had like 10 pages left. And I realized if I left those 10 pages for our travel plans, which are you guys watching for hints? <laughs> I'm gonna start putting some hints in our videos and I'll talk about that more later, but I'm 
gonna get another hint up on Instagram soon, so watch for that on our travel plans. But I realized I had like 10 pages left in that notebook, and I thought, why not just leave the rest of that notebook for the travel stuff, because I always have like packing lists and to-do lists and where are we gonna go and what are we gonna do and all that kind of stuff, because it's a new place. Remember, we haven't gone there before, so guess what I got to do? A new notebook. I don't know what it is, it's like the school days of like, turning that notebook to the first page. This isn't my first page, I've already started it. But I have to-do lists on here, but I don't know if I can let you see some of the items on here. Let me see. So I have added some new stickers, and I just love a new notebook. It's just so fun to like, start it. And I now do stickers and little doodads on my, in my notebooks, which I think makes it even more fun. Sorry, the lighting is really bad. I've had to turn on extra lights because it's so cloudy outside, but now it's like, you know, highlighting my forehead. <laughs> so I've got new stickers. Anyway, I think that's kind of why January is kind of a freshen it up, right? Like you want clean spaces, you want your decorations down, your Christmas decorations down. I'm gonna get to doing this. This, I'm so sorry for this. Let's do this. without everything up there and how cluttered it looks down here. So this is kind of your sign of like, do I have too, too much stuff up there? And the answer is yes. So what I'm gonna do, these are my new notebooks that I haven't used before. I think there's four of them. They're so cute. And I'm glad I collect these, you guys, because I cannot find any at TJ Maxx or Marshalls right now. So I have birthday cards that I probably could get rid of. And then these are my old notebooks. And I want to keep my old notebooks. So I might declutter some of the birthday cards so that I have some of these containers. And then I think it's time to declutter some books, possibly put out some books onto the shelves in the front room as decoration if for the ones that I want to keep. Like this one, although I cannot see. If you haven't read this one, you definitely should. It's a really, really good one. And then this kind of stuff, like the these kinds of things are the pops of color that I want out in the shelves in the front room, but like the pineapple stuff and all this kind of stuff I love to have here in my craft room. And then obviously the jars are gonna go, but I don't know. We just gotta like figure stuff out. But clearly I haven't read, read my physical scriptures in a while because <laughs> there's an imprint of that little sign, that little pineapple sign on there. <laughs> That's called digital age scriptures. I don't pull out my hard copy very often. So let's just figure out what I wanna keep and then I need to dust all of this down and start putting things back up. All right, this might not look like progress to you, but it kind of is to me. It's very bare still, but I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff here on the counter. So now I'm gonna start putting up some of the bigger stuff. These are the books that I don't want to get rid of, but I want my kids to maybe get excited about reading them. I don't know why they haven't yet, so I'm going to display them either out in the living room or up in my room and see if they want to read them later. All right, so before I show you everything that's all done, I'm going to show you what I didn't end up using. I'm going to stash these away because I always use these eventually. They're just more supplies. I'm going to just stick those away. And then i got to find a place for all of our little jars. You haven't seen my tutorial on that. That's about a year old. Maybe I did it last Christmas. I can't remember. This one is, who is this one? Abby? <laughs> anyway, those ones are fun to make, but I just don't know where to put them right now. And then I've got some extra decorations right here and a little stand. And then I little, have a little whiteboard. I might come up with something kind of creative to put on this. Right now it's as if only my teeth were as white as my legs. <laughs> Once I come up with some kind of a creative thought or whatever to put on that sign. 
I'll probably add a stand and put it out on the shelves. All right, so the next step is to get rid of things that I don't want or need anymore. This sign I made for one of my little craft videos, but I'm just not gonna, I don't need to keep it anymore. I'll offer that up to someone if they wanna decorate with that. These are all books that I have read and don't need anymore or didn't end up reading. We had 1,000 White Women as one of our book club books a couple years ago. Awful. It, we got like one chapter into it and we were like, um, no, we can't read this. So I'm just gonna donate all these books. And then this P.S. I love you sign, I really do like it. It just doesn't kind of fit my scheme of decorating any longer. And I know that someone will really enjoy having this, so I'd rather pass it to someone who can really enjoy it and put it into their home if they don't know how to craft or have access to this kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna donate it and give it away because it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Someone can definitely use this. All right, next up in here, I did a little bit of rearranging in here. I added two little vases right here and just put some plain white flowers in them. I know it's technically not flower season, so I stuck with white just to kind of add a little pop of texture to the shelf. I didn't really rearrange a whole lot. What I did down here was add a stack of those books that I want to keep, but I didn't like the color out here. So I turned them all the other direction and then I added a little vase to the top of them to distract from the color. And once you're kind of away from the shelf, the color is no longer a factor. See how I did that? Um, but then I can tell my kids to come look at those if they want a new book to read. So I didn't really do much over here. I kind of left it from how I did it after decorating for Christmas. I did move some of those books that were stacked up on the little shelf right here. I did move them down to the bottom row because that was completely empty. So I just filled that up right down there. All right, so here's the shelves all done. I think they turned out good. I'm not like completely sold on it, but at least it's clutter free. The books, eh, it's not the best display of books I've ever done, but it'll suffice for now. I wanna like get a little bit more creative and I need taller things to decorate with behind everything. Once I kind of come up with that concept, I'll know better where to put the books and how to decorate that shelf. And on this side, I definitely have a theme going on on this side, which really helps when you're decorating. Obviously, I have like a tropical theme. I use that notebook as one of the decoration items and then the wood, you know, item in the basket as well. And then I have all my pineapple collection items right here. And then just the glass face, a picture of Ashley when she was born. That little yellow frame goes behind and then I just put all the books in um, all my notebooks into those little baskets. So that's it you guys, simple video today. I just wanted to get my office looking a little bit better, declutter it, make myself find some more joy back in my craft room. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day and happy 2020. I'm starting it out with organization as usual. Take care and hope you come back for more. Bye-bye.